Hi guys, welcome to Abjada. So uh, in this series, I have created a blog and if you have made this far, this would be the last step of development where we deploy this app so that uh, we can access it through a URL or anyone can access it through a URL. Uh, now, in order to do that, I will have to you know style this blog a little bit. The reason is, you know, there is no navigation to like, you know, uh, go back or something here. Uh, which is which is bad and also um, the styling if I zoom out uh, something like if I go back here and then if I zoom out this doesn't look good so I will try to fix this I'll quickly style it and uh, then we'll deploy to uh, Netlify all right let's get to it now first thing is the layout I have fixed it to 600 pixels I'll increase that to 800 that should give us a bigger layout here and i'm hoping you know it will um, once you once the width decreases it will no it's not happening so what we can do is uh, we can have a media query media uh, screen and x width i think it has to be in brackets um 600 Usually the width of phones are 600 or less. Uh, now here what I'll do is uh, over here I don't have to use this here. I will have to use it in the index because here is where the posts are. I'm thinking I have made as grid. Yeah, I'll use that here. Um, I have to copy this maybe I'll copy everything paste it here so in the phones or a small screen uh, grid is fine I just want one FR because I want only one fraction grid gap let it be margin I can let it be now if I make it smaller yeah so it is response you know that should be fine okay uh, I'm guessing this can use some uh, padding I believe so we gave this 10 pixels which can be 20 um, that should that should look good I think and what else can we do okay navigation right search is small uh, that we can fix it in the index there is this input so there is only one input I'll just uh, call that here input uh, I'll have a border of uh, one fix solid and triple D this is a lighter border uh, I'll have padding um, probably five pixels of top and bottom I don't want left and right but let it be this seems okay but I can have more I think uh, this is too much i'll have 10. Uh, this is fine we can make it rounded mm, 5x i think that would do yeah right okay so that should be okay so we'll have a lay we'll have a navigation as well uh here We'll create a navigation above the slot maybe inside the container we can have a nav and then you will and then uh, ally and then inside a tag and this would be home and then do we need anything else that's all we need i think we don't have any other page um that should show up okay so if you have seen my previous videos i style this like this so i'll usually have a ul to display flex in this case it doesn't matter we have only one but if we have something in the future some other um, route in the future we can uh, still use it and uh, uh, list style is none because we don't want that disk to show and then uh, li will have a margin right 
in this case it doesn't matter because we have only one but I'll still have it anyway okay so that is home and then uh, we'll remove any padding uh, we'll also remove any margin okay so this is fine if we go to some other page we can always come back to home page uh, if we go this you know go to this user even if here we can come back okay and that should be enough um, I can also move this to a component I think I have shown this uh, in order to do that I mean this might take a while let's not do it now we'll deploy this uh, for Netlify um, here there is an adapter to uh, host it on Netlify so this is called adapter Netlify there are others that you can try out I'll be covering some of them but let's see Netlify now in order to do this we have to install it so this is the installation code um, I'll run that here now it's showing me an error because I have to use uh, a different node version okay and this has been installed now we can we can you know in the swelled config here we can import that as adapter and we can use that here uh, as adapter invoke as well I think there are some default options that we can use uh, not you know I think it will take by default we'll have to create a tamil file netlify.toml in the root this is required for uh, hosting on netlify netlify.toml okay this is pretty standard now once that is there we will test the build here uh, npm run build and i'll stop this dev Let's see if it uh, succeeds. Okay. Okay, seems like it is uh, getting succeeded. Uh, we can also preview this npm run preview, but I think it will show the same thing, so there is nothing to worry. Now, in order to deploy it to Netlify, we might need to create a you know GitHub repository and put it there, and then use that repository in Netlify so that. Our app is you know uh, fetched from that github repository uh, I'll show you how so I'll just uh, create a new repository here so I'll get a uh, blog or something let it be private it can be private and I'm not I'm not gonna like you know uh, do all this for this I'm gonna upload it directly the files so I'll go here and then select all the files whichever is not needed I will not select them so some files you know you, you don't really need to upload them uh, you just put it here but there are only 27 files that is good well it's called swell kit blog okay I'm gonna commit changes all right we have it here uh, now in uh, in our netlify we'll move this back uh, i can get new site from git and github and you may have to authorize for the first time i have authorized it before so i'll get this so i'll do swell kit okay we got it now I'm gonna use that and then uh, we don't have to make any changes here it's everything is already there the published directory is built npm run build is the command you can deploy site but I may have to add a variable I'll tell you why that is because when I deploy this it might throw an error uh, let's see uh, it used to happen for other sites of mine uh, but here let's see if it happens I can check whether it is properly building 
yeah this error uh, this error comes up and this can be solved using a you can go to the site settings here and then build and deploy then I think there is something called um, environment variable yeah, here I can have node version and I can select 16 and save okay with that being there this will use uh, 16 for that deploy fail I think I should deploy it again uh, I can go here and uh, clear cache and deploy let's see if this uh, succeeds okay mm. Okay, uh, now using node version, that's good. Okay, looks like it is succeeded. All right, yeah, deployed. Now once that is done, uh, you can uh, go back here and you can see that, you know, it already assigned you a uh, URL. You can change this a little bit. You can also have custom domain. Now let's open this we have it so whatever we built so far uh, it's there um, it okay so it, it's taking time more than usual let's go back home yeah let's search something uh, dolo ram yeah it works nice so this is good uh, we were able to deploy this into netlify so maybe in the next one i'll show you how to deploy it to other platforms or maybe you can uh, let me know in the comment that you know which platforms you want this to be deployed i can show that and i think that should be enough for this one i'll see you in the next one guys bye bye